Astronomers have discovered a planet that survived agony, it's their star. Astronomers have spotted a rocky planet, more or less twice as much as Earth, which orbits a very tight orbit around the white dwarf remnants of a star similar to the Sunday. The discovery shows what it can happen to our planet when the Sun enters the last phases of evolution. About 4,000 light years away astronomers have spotted Earth-like planet about twice as high as it orbits the white dwarf. This distant planetary system identified by astronomers at the University of California in Berkeley, looks very much like the expectations about it. What will happen to the Earth when the Sun turns into a white dwarf? Description and results of observations appeared in the journal Nature Astronomy. What will be the future of the Earth? How our planet will be did she look a few billion years? Existence of Earth-like planet around a dead star gives hope for the ultimate survival of our planet. Shows it one possible scenario that could happen to Earth in the distant future. Most of the stars entering the last chapter of theirs life tends to shrink, a little, and slowly change color. Astronomers define these dense objects that were once powerful stars. It's like white dwarfs. These objects are the remains of medium-sized stars, such as our Sun. When they use all their fuel in the kernel and they drop the outer layers, the still hot kernel begins to cool. This process can take billions of years. But before they shrink, stars like the Sun inflict engulfing nearby planets. In the case of the solar system, it is estimated that the process will include Mercury, Venus, and Earth. All these planets will stay absorbed by a red, giant sun. This process will end head by a dying star of his outer layers and will remain only a burnt-out core not larger than a planet, but with a mass of a star, white it's a dwarf. But there's nothing to panic, according to astronomers it will happen for about 5 billion years. Besides, such stellar residues may still have the planets, as shown by recent observations. The discovery shows the stages of the evolution of the main sequence stars, such as the Sun, passing through the red giant phase to white the dwarf. It also shows how this process affects the planets around them. For a few billions of years, the outer layers of the Sun will desurge leaving behind a dense, glowing ball a white dwarf. As the star expands, becoming the red giant, its declining mass will force the planets to migrate more distant orbits, giving Earth a small chance of surviving in orbit it is farther from the Sun. If the Earth survives until then, it will probably be in orbit about twice as far away as it is today. The current orbit of the planet of 2.1 astronomical units it's exactly what you'd expect from the Earth after the Sun it will become a white dwarf, said Keming Zhang, lead research University of California San Diego. When the Sun becomes a red giant, the setting zone the habituation will shift around the orbit of Jupiter and Saturn, and many of the, the moons of these planets will become ocean objects. I think in when the case could emigrate, Zhang said. A few moons Jupiter, such as Europe, Callisto, and Ganymede, as well as Enceladus circulating around Saturn, it appears to have frozen oceans of water that are likely to have they freeze when the outer layers of the red giant expand. We are currently not in agreement on whether the Earth can avoid being absorbed by the red giant in 5 to 6 billion years. Zhang said. New discoveries show an example of a planet that survived turbulent changes in your star. It is unlikely that she could be the hotbed of life, although at some point in its history, could have had conditions promoting life development while its host was still a star similar to the Sun. This system is an example of a planet, probably Earth-like, 
originally in a similar orbit as Earth that survived phase of her parent star's red giant, said Jessica Lu of University of California, Berkeley. The distant planetary system in which the discovery was made was discovered in 2020 thanks to the phenomenon of gravitational MICR lensing. Lens is a phenomenon that can be compared to a magnifying glass. Gravity distorts space-time. The denser and more massive the object, the stronger is its gravitational force, which can act as a lens, magnifying and distorting the light source behind it. The phenomenon of gravitational lensing is very rare and it occurs when light from a distant source is bent by a closer object it's called a lens. The mass of the lens curves the space around it, which causes bending of light rays, as a result, can be observed brightly the sources. In other words, gravitational lensing occurs when the gravity of objects bends and amplifies light from distant stars when the radiation source is on one line, the object lentil and observer on Earth. It was through this phenomenon that the researchers found a system containing a star with a mass of about half the mass of the Sun, a planet slightly larger than Earth in orbit twice as large as the current and very large planet with a mass 17 times the mass of Jupiter probably a brown dwarf. Brown and brown dwarfs are unsuccessful stars whose mass is slightly smaller than the mass required to initiate a fusion in the nucleus. Where did the moon come from? The astronomers have proposed an alternative concept. The dominant theory of the formation of the moon indicates, that it was born as a result of the Earth's collision with an object the size of Mars. But but Pennsylvania State University astronomers have a different possibility. According to them, he was intercepted during the close encounter of the young Earth from passing near a binary system composed of the Moon and another rocky the object. The Moon is thought to have formed about 60 million years after formation of the solar system as a result of impact on the young Earth of the body the size of Mars. This collision caused large quantities to be thrown into orbit the material that formed into the Moon over time. Theory is confirmed by chemical and isotopic analysis of the material a rock man brought from the moon to Earth as part of a mission from the Apollo program. The rocks and the lunar regolith delivered to Earth turned out to be very much similar in composition to the rocks on Earth from the beginning of its history. It is up to you they persuaded astronomers and in 1984 at a conference in Kona, Hawaii, they recognized that the moon was formed from debris after a collision with young Earth an object of size Mars. But in a recent publication in the Planetary Science Journal of two astronomers from Pennsylvania State the university proposed an alternative concept. According to them, the moon who was intercepted during a close encounter between the young Earth and passing into the area is a binary system composed of the moon and another rocky object. In the scenario proposed by the researchers, the gravitational force our planet was separated by a binary system passing by. The impact's gravitational Earth has tore off the Moon, making it its satellite, which it orbits in its current plane. Conference in the Horse has established a narrative for 40 years Darren Williams of Pennsylvania State University said, adding at the same time, despite the consensus, the questions remained. For example such as that an object that would arise from debris after colliding with another planet, it should orbit the planet's equator, and the Earth's moon orbits into a slightly different the plane. Researchers suggest that initially, just after interception the moon, its orbit was heavily elliptical and only with time Earth's tides the shape of the orbit changed. There are examples for this type of events in the layout it's a sunny one. Researchers pointed to Triton, the largest of Neptune's moons. The dominant concept is that Triton was captured by gas giant from the Kuiper belt, where, scientists believe, one in ten objects it's a double system. Triton orbits Neptune in retrograde orbit, 
moving in the opposite direction to the planet's rotation. His orbit is also greatly inclined, at an angle of 67 degrees from Neptune's equator. Calculation of tidal changes in the size and shape of the orbit, scientists have determined that the Moon's initial elliptical orbit has shrunk in thousands of years. It also became more circular and took a position, so how he looks today. The calculations of astronomers show that a satellite intercepted with a binary system could behave like the Earth's moon. But whether it is, was it? No one knows how the moon was made. For the last four decades we had one possibility when it got there. Now we have two. It opens up a treasury of new questions and opportunities for further research, Williams said. 15. Pas de soleil, pas de soleil, pas de soleil.